Welcome to Moments with Marianne. This is your host, Marianne Pastana. And we're here today with special guest, Nathan Hadlock, who's here to share with us Portugal's golden visa program, Pelotera. Could investing in farmland in Portugal open the door to European citizenship and a whole new way of life for you and your family? Well, today's guest is here to share with us just that. Nathan Hadlock grew up with agriculture in his blood as part of an Ohio farming family. After spending time in Silicon Valley as an engineer specializing in soil technology, he moved to Portugal in 2019 to pursue his passion of scaling sustainable farming practices in the area. He is now the managing director of Pelotera. Portugal's largest regenerative agricultural investment fund. So let's welcome to the show, Nathan Hadlock. Hi, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Oh my goodness. What an honor it is to have you here and to talk about this. So what is this program? Let's just dive into that because I was so fascinated when I heard about this. Yeah, it's. it's, uh, I, I, I hadn't heard of it until I moved to Portugal uh, five five years ago from from the U.S. and it's it's ultimately it's a way to to get a Portuguese passport in as quick as five years. And uh, I'm, I'm I come from Ohio originally, and and I had no idea of of what a, a passport from Portugal could do. And and the most interesting part is it gives you access to live, work, even send your kids to school to 25 different European countries. And so, yes, it's part of Portugal, but the bigger picture is it gives you access essentially to all of Europe, which is, which is pretty powerful. Well, my goodness, that is very powerful. Yeah, and before we go too far down the road, what made you decide to move? Because I, you were in Silicon Valley at one point. Yeah, I, I, I had been living in, in San Francisco for, for six years. And uh, my my girlfriend and I we we wanted to slow life down, start a family, and so we made a a, a list of places in the world that would be interesting to move to. And uh, Portugal made it to the top of the list. It's it has weather really similar to uh, Lisbon specifically has weather really similar to to LA. It's uh, it's right on the water, uh, um, and it, it's it's beautiful. But but it's life is slower and and I, I we we were craving that and it's a really nice place to 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 have small kids uh it's an airport that's accessible to all of europe and it's it's been really great living here well, it sounds like just the dream location i do hear of quite a few people like portugal's the new best place to live and it seems that yeah. with the education piece especially for you know as children get older that that's a big deal it, it it is and 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 something that I, I so now we f- fast forward uh, f- five years we we have two kids here uh, because they were born here they they automatically have the Portuguese passport and it's only been recently that I've I've started to realize w- what this stands for it's 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 almost a, a legacy that that's being created because not only will my kids have this Portuguese passport but their kids, if they decide to also have this passport. And it's, there's not many things in life where you can make such an impact on, on your family like this. And so it's, it's kind of, kind of coming from Ohio. I I never thought I would have a, a Portuguese baby. And so it's, it's still kind of blowing my mind, but pretty cool. Well, that is very interesting. So what is a golden visa? What, what does that all entail? Yeah, so um, th- there's not many programs left in the world. Uh, Portugal is one of the few that that are open right now, and it's a, it's a program that allows you to apply for a passport in five years when you make uh, an investment uh, into the country. Uh, Portugal, that investment is is five hundred thousand euros, uh, and there's many different options. Uh, I, I represent uh, a fund here called Pelotera. In which that investment goes towards uh, sustainable agriculture in the interior of the country, and 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 this kind of uh, investment 
has has really resonated with Americans for for a number of reasons. One, uh, most folks, hands down, they want something low risk. They want to get to the end of this process and know that their their capital is is safe. And nothing achieves that better than uh, an asset class like farmland. It's it's incredibly stable. It's predictable. Uh, but more importantly, what's what's really interesting with what we're doing is is we're taking this capital coming into the country and we're investing it into the the interior where there's just there's not much going on. And so it's really helpful in revitalizing uh, 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 small communities. It's, it's creating jobs. And uh, on the sustainability side, we're transitioning these large conventional farms. In our case, it's, it's mainly olive groves uh, into a, a, a more sustainable moving towards regenerative approach. And, and that's achieved with uh, closer attention to the soil, minimizing inputs, watering very precisely, and uh, it's 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 kind of a a win win. It's uh, it's a win for the investor. They're, they're they're generating returns. They're ultimately earning a passport, but it's also helping the Portuguese people. And so it's uh, it's fun to be a part of this. And I understand you have some background regarding agriculture, and I'd love for you to share that with us. Yeah, so I was born into an agricultural family in, in Ohio. The family's been into ag uh, over the last hundred years. But uh, like any young person, you want nothing to do with what your parents do. And so I, I went the the engineering route. Uh, spent most of my uh, adult life on the on the West Coast. But around ten ten or so years ago, uh, had a renewed interest. Uh, took over the finances on the farm, and. Um, Saw firsthand how my my folks weren't making much money from the land. Uh, the soil was being depleted every year, and so this became a, a problem that I wanted to spend the next decades of my life uh, working on. And so this 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 is the seed that ultimately created uh, the Pelotera Fund. Well, I I find it so fascinating that here you are, an engineer specializing in soil technology. And you're doing the yeah. same amazing work in Portugal to try to help help the area as well. Yeah, I I, I feel like ag- agriculture is one of the, the the more interesting overlooked spaces. The the amount of impact w- we can make uh, th- through technology or or just simple uh, changes. Uh, in in our case. Um, we we use cover crop. We we limit uh, the tilling of the soil, and because of the just sheer space in which agriculture takes up, it's you can really make it impact at scale, and um, uh, the soil is is really a key part of that. Often uh, we we forget about the the bio- uh, all the biology beneath our feet and 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 the impact. That that has on plants and and ultimately how uh, nutritious the food is that we grow and so these are all things that we pay close attention to. Why are so many Americans investing in golden visas at this time? It's it's a number of reasons. Every we, we talk to people in New York, North Carolina, California, up in in, in Oregon, and and everyone's uh, has a unique story, uh, but. It, it largely can be summarized as as a, a, a plan B, creating options, not not just options for the next couple of years, uh, but options for when they retire, or options for their their children, and um, and 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 that that's ultimately what what it's all about. If 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 you want to move to Portugal, you can do that. Uh, uh, there's many immigration. Uh, uh, schemes they have a D7 visa as an example of that, but you have to live in Portugal for five or six years in order to qualify for a passport. the The magic of the the Golden Visa program is you can continue living and working where you are now, but you can get the clock started so that when you're ready to retire or if something changes in your life in the future. Uh, you have that option of of moving to Portugal, or once you have the passport, anywhere in Europe. And so, um, it's it's 
it's a pretty valuable thing long term, and, and and that's why more and more Americans are are pursuing that. So you don't have to live in Portugal to have the golden visa. Is that something you can travel to and come back? Yeah, it's it's that's that's one of the the key selling points of of this program is is the flexibility in the five year period uh, as you're waiting to apply for the passport. You're only required to visit the country for for seven days, uh, and it's it's not a bad place to visit. So it's uh, it's pretty easy to to check that box. Uh, and then after five years, the process of applying for a passport is very straightforward and uh, can be done quickly. Well, on that note, we're going to pause here for a quick break. We've been speaking with Nathan Hadlock in regards to Portugal's Golden Visa program with Pelotera. You've been listening to Moments with Marianne. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Are you an author, speaker, or expert who is looking for more publicity? Visit RadioGuestList.com and sign up for free interview requests from shows looking for guests. Radio Guest List is the number one free booking resource for radio, podcasts, and TV talk shows who are looking for experts like you right now. Visit RadioGuestList.com and sign up today to get the visibility you deserve. There comes a moment when you realize you're somewhere special. When you discover that each beautiful creature that you see has been rescued from a life of absolute horror and brought to this incredibly free place, here is where their lives were forever changed and where yours will as well. Discover over 500 tigers, bears, and lions at the brand new visitor center at the Wild Animal Sanctuary just outside Denver. For more information, visit wildanimalsanctuary.org. Discover true freedom at the Wild Animal Sanctuary. It's one thing to become attached to your perfect home, but what do you do when that home becomes attached to you? A family in dire need of a fresh start, a mysterious house tied to the past. Buried deep within the foundation of the old Far Hill Manor lies a centuries-old secret. Dark forces or something stronger just waiting to be discovered. Caretaker, a supernatural thriller by breakout author R.J. Halpert. Internationally recognized and award-winning author Judy Goodman works and teaches outside the box of limited thinking. Working with people from every walk of life, her goal is to empower you to be the best you can be, no matter what the challenge is. Born with the gift of seeing beyond our normal vision, she has an extraordinary gift of working with every challenge. Teaching beyond conventional wisdom, her work is described as life-changing. Visit JudyGoodman.com. That's JudyGoodman.com. I'd like to thank Jason Eastwood at Guitarfulness for sharing his inspiring music and talent with us. His music is known worldwide for cultivating atmospheres of harmony, inner peace, and clarity. Visit Jason's website at guitarfulness.com. Join his newsletter, be part of his community, and download his music. Welcome back to Moments with Marianne. We're here today with special guest, Nathan Hadlock, who's sharing with us Portugal's Golden Visa program with Pelotera. Now, is there a certain like um, area or region that this this funds as far as agriculture? Yeah, so so we focus on uh, an area of Portugal uh, called Alentejo. And we focus in this region for a few different reasons. One, the the climate is uh, conducive for higher value uh, uh, commodities. For us, we focus on uh, orchards, uh, uh, olives, and 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 various nuts. But more importantly, especially in the agriculture space, water is, is key. Uh, I, I used to live in California, and I, I know how important water is there. We, we we invest in in land here, fed by the largest man-made lake in Europe, uh, Lake Alkeva, uh, to give uh, very strong uh, water rights and resiliency to to what we grow, uh, and uh, it's a good good region to to invest in. So I know we've kind of touched on this, but can you dive more into what Pelotera does? Yeah, it's 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 
intentionally very straightforward. We uh, invest in farmland uh, that uh, has access to uh, uh, water rights. Uh, and um, it's two main investments. We either establish a, a new orchard or we invest in a, an existing mature orchard. Uh, and by growing olives, uh, by growing nuts, this allows us to, to generate a, an annual return that we can pay to investors. And then through the appreciation of the land, uh, it allows us to also pay uh, a large dividend upon the, 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 the sale of the assets at the end. And um, it's, um, it's not, not, not fancy, not, not super complicated, uh, intentionally uh, simple. We, the, the fund does not take uh, any leverage. Uh, and so we, we really try to pull out um, at risk wherever we can. Thank you. I, I love how it's so, so straightforward and easy. So people realize it is an investment that they're, yep. they're being part, but it's m- m- way more than that. Y- yeah. Yeah. It's, it's when, when you think about it, it's, it's 500,000 euros is, is a lot of money. Uh, there, there's no, no question about that, but uh, as an investment where you're, you're, you're getting returns, uh, where you know that investment is having a, a positive impact on the country that you'll call your new home eventually, uh, potentially, and uh, that it results in this, this legacy, this, this passport where you can access all of Europe. Um, but when you start to put all these things together, uh, it's, it's pretty compelling. And, and uh, it's, it's fun being on calls with, with investors and, and you start to talk about these different components and then their eyes light up and, and, and they finally, they, they realize, wow, this, this, is, this is really powerful. Uh, not, not just for what I'm thinking about right now, but for all of, all of the scenarios that could happen uh, in, in the future and, and, and the, the opportunity that you, you can create for your, your children. And so it's what the, the 500,000 investment, it's not per person. It's, it counts for you. It counts for your spouse. It counts for any dependent. Um, and so that's uh, children. And, and sometimes people will include their parents also on this application. It's so remarkable to have, I mean, you can you know, work in one country, send your kids to college in another. I mean, there's yeah. so much diversity. Really, yeah. the, the world opens up for you. C- completely. And, and just, I, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I've spent most of my life in, in America. And, and so I, I, I have that, um, experience, um, and, and to see my, my kids, um, running around the, the streets of Lisbon or, uh, exploring farmland in the interior and they're, they're speaking Portuguese better than, than I am. It's, it's really uh, a delight as a as a parent, and and something that I never, never, I never really imagined that my my kids would have this, and and so it's 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 pretty pretty cool. Yeah, what a great opportunity! And I know one of the things you really focus on is regenerative agriculture, and mm-hmm. I'd love for you mm-hmm. to share with us what that is and what that means. Yeah, so so re- regenerative agriculture. On, on a very high level, means um, it's it's not just good enough to not do damage. What, what we need to focus on is actually regenerate landscapes, and and there's many different ways in which landscape can be regenerated. Uh, but one example is 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 biodiversity, the 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 different numbers of plants, animals, insects. Another is around the water. Uh, 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 how how well water is being stored and recycled throughout the the ecosystem. Another is the the soil. This is an area that we're uh, especially uh, um, passionate about. Uh, there's uh, my, my background is is engineering, and and so I, I am always quantifying different uh, uh, aspects of 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 the environment, probably because of that background. But we 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 pay close attention to what's called soil organic carbon. And this is um, 
kind of an indicator of the life in the soil. As, as you have more carbon there, you have more biological activity. The, the, the plants growing there are more resilient. The amount of water absorbed is, is higher. But the, the most interesting part and, and something that we have forgotten in agriculture is what we grow from healthy soil, soil that has lots of carbon in it, is often way more nutritious than in anything else. And, and that's uh, li- living in Europe, you, you see a difference in the food. And, and that, I think, is, is a, a, a big component of it. And I, I would really like to see agriculture shift to pay more uh, attention to nutritional density. And, and even uh, at, the, at stores, for consumers to better understand that what they're buying is, is healthier versus that tomato looks pretty, this one looks ugly, I, I don't know which one to buy. So I, that, that's what we're, we're passionate about. And that's, that's really what gets us out of bed in the morning. So how can people find out if they qualify for a golden visa? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it, a, f- a few different things. It's, it's, um, this, uh, a, a, as, as you say in the Midwest, this ain't our first rodeo. This is, uh, this is our second fund. Uh, the first fund, uh, raised over 35 million across 120 investors, mainly from the U S this capital has been deployed. Uh, and, and what we're talking about today is, uh, the follow on fund to that. Um, the, the EU knows that this is a pretty enticing program and every year they're putting more and more pressure on Portugal. And so we, we don't know for sure, but, uh, it's not something that, that will last forever, as you said. So the, the, the best step, um, uh, f- first, uh, you, you can look up golden visa on, on the internet and begin doing research, which is a, an important part of it. Um, if you would like to use us as a resource to help jumpstart the process, uh, you can reach out to us uh, through our website, uh, pelletera.com. Um, it's kind of hard for, uh, for English speaking, but P-E-L-A-T-E-R-R-A.com. And uh, we have a whole team dedicated to, to help you through the various steps and um, would, I, I, I always un- enjoy getting on calls with, with the potential investors and uh, learning their story and seeing how we can help them. I think it's such a great opportunity for people to you just add more to that family legacy. My goodness. Well, yeah. Nathan, thank you so much for taking the time to be on the show with us here today. My, my pleasure. It was really great talking with you today. Well, thank you, Nathan. It's been such an honor to spend this time with you and to talk about Portugal's Golden Visa program through Pelotera. Well, we're at the end of our time today. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. You've been listening to Moments with Marianne, where we make every moment count. In a single moment, your life can change. Moments with Marianne is a transformative hour that covers an endless array of topics with the best of the best. Her guests are leaders in their fields, ranging from inspirational authors, top industry leaders, and business and spiritual entrepreneurs. Each guest is gifted and a true visionary, a recognized leader in her own work. And while teaching others to develop, refocus, and grow, Marianne will bring the best guest and sometimes a special surprise. Don't miss this. You never know just which moment will change your life forever. Make sure to tune in and visit momentswithmarianne.com for more information.